He said he was sending me a self-portrait. It didn't come through. He sent it again. Same thing. AOL had converted it to a mind file, whatever that is. Finally, it came through. When I opened the file, I was appalled. I thought it would be a shot of his face, his chest, anything but what he'd sent me. I closed it immediately, only to reopen it again and again. Why would he send such a photo? Like, Why would he send a photo such as this? What was he trying to say? I put the photo out of my head until I rediscovered it a few days later while cleaning up my hard drive. Again, I was horrified, but I couldn't look away from his cigarette deliberately placed by his naked thigh. I tried to figure out if he was hung well enough to be worth the trouble. I closed the file, dragged it into the trash, and went to bed. In a matter of minutes, he was there, smoking his cigarette, laying on his back while he stared incessantly at the TV. I crawled between his legs and tried to get his attention. He took another drag. My moist tongue had no problem getting his cock's attention as it slid ever so slowly up the base of his shaft to its quivering head. He exhaled. I took him completely into my mouth and was reminded how deep my throat really was. He took another drag and changed the channel. He wasn't going to give me a reaction. That was his game. I figured I may as well get mine, so I slid my thumb to one side and again took him in. He had what he wanted, a cigarette and his fucking TV. As I was getting close, I thought about slitting his motherfucking throat. Perhaps I would get a reaction out of him then. The thought of synchronizing my thrusts with his gasps, his last gasps, took me to the edge. I didn't care that my pelvic bones were piercing him as I thrust and ground deeper and harder until I was done. I don't know if he came and I didn't care. I rested my head on his stomach and wondered what it would be like to fucking amputee. Someone with no arms or legs. At least he wouldn't smoke and change the channels while I fucked him. I liked having a sex toy with legs though, so I intertwined mine with his and fell asleep. I got up the next morning, walked over to my computer, pulled a self-portrait out of the trash and opened it again. This time, instead of a look of disdain, I had a huge smirk on my face. I closed the file, dragged it back into the trash, emptied it, and went back to sleep.